Hey YouTube, what's going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Canon MG5620. Basically, if you're having any issues with printing a certain color, black or color, I'm going to show you a method to go ahead and clean this print head pretty easily and uh, really cheap and inexpensively. So the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is um, when it's on, you're going to want to make sure to wait until the print head comes to the middle here. Once it's in the middle, you're able to uh, you're able to take out your ink. Now, this person used, you know, remanufactured ink, non-canon ink, uh, and they ran it low. So if you have done this and you're pretty much dry or you're pulling out a printer, you know, that's been sitting for a while and it's completely out of ink, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to go get some brand new um Canon CLI 251 black ink and the color ink that goes with it. So do not run your print head any longer if your any one of your cartridges are running low like this. So the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do it's very easy. You just go ahead and pull this out just like that. That was very simple. Let me do that one more time. Instant replay. You're going to go ahead and just pop that out. It's a latch that's on the front of it. Then you're going to reach in and take out your print head. We're gonna be cleaning this print head. All right, so once you have your print head, uh, you're gonna want a container just like this um, to put your print head in because you're gonna be cleaning it out with a syringe that's gonna come with some cleaning solution. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a kit specifically for this print head for you to be able to use it. It's gonna come with some gloves. It comes with everything you need, even some fitments that you can put over these nozzles. Um, go ahead down there right now, pause the video, and get that in the description below. All right, now that you are here, if you have a specific color that you're having an issue with, let's say it's magenta, you're gonna put this syringe right over magenta. And actually, I would just run all this solution right through, just like that. There you go. And that's exactly how it should look. This, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing here. This is exactly what you need to be doing. It needs to look like that. You know, you're pushing out the old dried up ink. So you should expect that. Okay, next, I'm gonna do black. So that's the other common one. And you know, I'm doing this just for demonstrational purposes. And I'm pushing out all the solution out in there. That's exactly what needs to happen. So that's what happens to some people. They end up just running the uh, ink dry and you're not, you're not saving any money by doing that. All you're doing is causing a problem that you can deal with now cheaply because you have this video, but prior you would have had to buy a, a, new, uh, a new printer. So I'm doing yellow there. Yellow seems like it's okay. So you can do this as many times as you need to. I recommend, I highly recommend that you, um, if you click on that link and you go to the web page on Amazon and you see the one, the there's another um, cleaning kit that has more cleaning solution. If you feel like you have a major issue, I recommend you go get that one. It's a little bit more expensive, but that's because you're getting a lot more cleaning solution. So those are some options for you. So now you're just going to go ahead and dry it off once you are satisfied with the cleaning. Okay, so now you are going to go ahead and put your, you're going to put your print head back into the printer okay so to put this print head back you are just gonna tilt it have it tilted like that make sure it's all dried up make sure there's nothing wet on it and you're just gonna slide it back it just slides right back in there then make sure to close that latch and you're ready to go again if you need to wait for some new ink go ahead and do that now if for whatever reason this ends up not working for you I am also going to leave a link in the description below for a new print head. So you can go ahead and buy a new print head. Um, that could potentially solve the problem. Sometimes some print heads don't clean out properly. 10% uh, of the time they don't. 90% of the time this works. Also, if you didn't want to go through that and you just wanted a new printer, I'm going to leave a link to this printer here and uh, two or three other ones that, have, that use similar ink. That's going to be in the description below as well. And I also have my website, bestprinterstech.com, uh, which you can go ahead and browse for if you were looking to buy maybe an HP or um, an Epson, you can go ahead and go there and browse for, I also have recommendation lists on there and ink compatibility. So there's a lot to do on there. Just go ahead, go on there and browse and see uh, what you would like to take from there. I hope this was helpful 
If you have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. I usually do a good job of uh, getting back to everyone that asks a question. Um, also, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time.